Hello everybody, welcome back to the LTR Mandarin School YouTube channel with myself, Max, from the marketing team. Today I want to discuss with you something that so many of our students ask and that is, what is the best way to learn Mandarin online? Very difficult question to just answer within one or two minutes, so we're going to go through a number of tips and tricks that you can do to learn Mandarin online and then we're going to give you some resources so hopefully, come the end of this video, you will have the ultimate go-to guide for the best way to learn Mandarin online. Let's start with tip number one on the best way to learn Mandarin online. That is time management. It's really, really easy to phase in and out of your Chinese studies. Put your phone up for 10 minutes, get distracted, put it down. This isn't gonna get you anywhere in the long run. An hour here and there every week is not what you need to be doing. You need to manage your time like you would with anything else. So basically, that requires you perhaps making a schedule, giving yourself a set amount of time, a goal to hit each week, allowing you to actually have your own schedule to learn Chinese. Of course, it's great to pick up your phone every now and again and just take in 15 minutes worth of Mandarin, but the best way to do it, honestly, is to time manage. So 9 to 10 p.m. on Tuesday morning, I'm going to focus on writing characters. Then perhaps 2 to 3 in the afternoon on a Wednesday, you're going to focus on just speaking with your friend on Skype. Manage your time, set your goal to your life. So some people will have more time than others. And that is such a crucial tip for learning Mandarin online. Tip number two for the best way to learn Mandarin online is intensity. Again, this kind of rolls into the point we made in number one. One hour, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes here and there, not what you really want to be doing in the long run. If you want to start Mandarin from scratch, you need to be intense when you're learning. This requires hours and hours. This is not like learning Italian, French or German as an English speaker. Mandarin is much different. Nothing is the same. Pretty much nothing at all is the same. So you need to put in the extra hours to get to a level, let's say you're an English speaker and you get to a level of fluency in German, you're going to need to put in double, even triple the hours for Mandarin. So one hour and 30 minutes and all that here and there, although it's great that you're doing it, you need to be doing more. So be intense with your studies when you're learning Mandarin online. Tip number three for the best way to learn Mandarin online is to nail those tones. You must get them down early. There is no point in putting them off they will come back and haunt you, trust us. Learning the tones in Chinese is a fundamental thing to do, whether you're actually learning offline or online. Why we put it in the online section is because there's a lot of resources you can actually use online. We actually have a video where you can learn about Chinese tones and also initials and finals. There should be a link somewhere up here to those two tones videos. So one's about initials and finals and one's about the actual tones themselves. Learn them. Use online videos such as the ones we've just shown you. Absorb content, listen to them, speak them. Don't be scared to do them when you're just on your own at home. You need to get the tones down early on. If you don't, it will come back and get you with your speak and there's no way around it. So one of the best ways to learn Mandarin online is to utilize those videos and get the tones down early. Okay, tip number four for the best way to learn Mandarin online is to actually apply it. So you're taking in all this stuff online, you're writing characters, you're learning stuff, you're speaking stuff to yourself, this is all great, but you actually need to apply it. So by applying it, I mean perhaps speaking to a Chinese friend on Skype or on Zoom, uh, actually watching movies, reading things, so perhaps reading a newspaper, a book, basic stuff if you're at a beginner level, and of course you can get to more advanced things like newspapers and, and even novels and stuff like that as you get going but apply it. So don't just take stuff in, use it in real life scenarios. Maybe find a Chinese menu online and try and read it because they're typically also difficult things to do. We actually have a blog for how to read a Chinese menu, which should pop up somewhere below. Great resource actually that, because when you learn Chinese menus at school, you learn the characters for beef and meat and all these kinds of things, but Chinese menus are typically much harder. So this is a really good example of actually applying it. So apply what you're learning. Tip number five for the best way to learn Mandarin online is to actually make it fun. So many people pick up the textbook and as soon as they do this, they think, oh, 
and the motivation goes down and it just feels like you're back at school again. You don't have to do this when learning Chinese or actually any other language. Make it fun. What can you do? What do you enjoy? And then pair it together with your Chinese. So I love football. So I learn about the football positions. I learn football players' names and teams in Chinese. How to say things like pass, shoot, goal, corner. It makes it fun for me. And then when I go and watch a game in China, in Beijing, I can actually listen to what people are saying and apply it. And I know what's going on around me. Perhaps you could watch a movie in Chinese. You could watch TV shows. We've got loads of resources again online. Links all below. Best Chinese TV shows to learn Chinese. We've got five in there. Best movies to learn Mandarin. I think we've got 10 in there. There's loads of things you can do. So what do you like to do? Ask yourself what you enjoy doing and then try and apply your Mandarin to those things. There are ways to do it. There's always resources online. Google them, look for them, or go to our blogs or our YouTube channel because there's loads of stuff on there as well. Tip number six for how to learn Chinese online is to utilize the HSK. Now the HSK is, it stands for Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi, which we have a video for somewhere up here as well. Another one that I filmed. Um, HSK basically is the Chinese proficiency exam to discover where your level of Chinese is from HSK 1, which is the most basic level, all the way through to HSK 6. What we mean by utilize it is taking the vocab. There's loads of vocab and grammar structures that you can use for the HSK, which you can utilize in your day-to-day -day life. There is an app called HSK Online, another one that I've reviewed. There's so many links, sorry to spam you, but there's so much great content from us. HSK Online, that's an app. You can also do it online as well. This is a great way to learn Mandarin. It's one of my personal favorite ways to learn Mandarin online. You can get the app on your phone. They have a website. It's a really, really good way to learn grammar structures, sentences, stuff that you would use in day-to-day -day life. Although not everybody has the need to sit the HSK exam, such as myself, it is still really, really useful to you. So utilize it, use the app, use videos, and check out all the content that the HSK has to offer. Okay, tip number seven for the best way to learn Mandarin online is to get yourself a great teacher. Now we're gonna come on to this later. We provide classes online, ltl-online-school.com. Visit the website. You can actually learn Chinese free with us as well. Absolutely free, no strings attached. Again, we'll come to that later. Getting yourself a great teacher is really important. Lots of people, it's very easy to pick up a tutor or a friend who speaks in, in a, a language or do a language exchange. That's all good and well, but only the best teachers know the best ways to learn Mandarin. They, can, they know what it takes to make a foreigner succeed and they can utilize those methods with you. Just talking with friends and language exchanges, they're always great, they're good things to do, but getting yourself a great teacher online who you can learn with on Skype or Zoom, for example, is a really, really important, probably the most important out of all the tips. Get yourself a teacher who you can build a rapport with, who you can get to know. Uh, and even if you don't meet in person, face to face, online is still a fantastic way to learn Chinese. So get yourself a great teacher, build a rapport, and your Chinese will improve so much quicker. Trust us, we know. Tip number eight for the best way to learn Chinese is utilize apps. There are so many apps to learn Chinese, seriously, probably too many, which makes it almost intimidating. Don't worry, because we're actually gonna come onto those resources in a second, so stay with us, don't go anywhere. Apps are such a great way to learn Chinese for anyone online, whether you're commuting to work, like I've done so many times, whether you're chilling at home and you've got 30 minutes, Whatever it is, use those apps. As I said before, it's important that you have a schedule and that you're, in, that you're intense with your Chinese language studies. But of course, these apps are great for 10, 15, 20, 30 minute spells to nail down the things that you've learned or even pick up new things. So utilize apps. And if you hold with us, we're gonna show you some of the best apps to learn Chinese. Okay, and the final tip number nine for the best way to learn Mandarin online is to use YouTube. You're here right now, so stay here, don't go anywhere. YouTube 
is becoming a bigger and bigger and better resource. There's so much great content on YouTube to learn Mandarin online. Loads of different channels. Everybody wants a piece of it. Utilize it and use it. We're doing our best to provide you guys, our subscribers, with the best content possible for learning Mandarin. We hope you enjoy it. There's plenty of other channels you can use as well. We've never said just stay with us, of course. There's great two, three, four minute videos from certain channels, or you can get longer, even two, three hour videos from others. So use YouTube. It's really one of the best resources. Everybody uses it. Use YouTube to learn Mandarin online. And that is our final tip to learn Chinese. By the way, if you wondered what all these hand gestures were, that's actually the Chinese numbers from six to 10. Just wanted to slip that in there. We have a video, visit it, the top Chinese numbers. When you do numbers with your hands in Chinese, one, two, three, four, five, but then they change. So rather than you having to do six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, they actually have their own versions, which are, this means six, this means seven, because it actually kind of looks like a seven. This means eight, this is nine, and this, or this, I'd prefer this because it's just one hand, is 10. So that's a cool fun fact for you, Chinese numbers by using just one hand. Okay, now we're going to move on to the best resources to learn Mandarin online. So we've given you the tips, you know what you need to do. Now let's give you some resources and build some context around what we've just said before. Now, honestly, this video could go on and on because there are so many resources. What we've done, we've got a blog, link down below or up here, wherever, best ways to learn Mandarin online. And it's all of these resources and more. So if you want all of those resources, you need to click that link for the blog. It's on our LTL taiwan.com blog and it's called best ways to learn mandarin online now we're just going to give you some of our favorites but all of them and more are on the website so do check that blog out after please the first resource for the best way to learn mandarin online is one that i think any foreigner who's been to china will be familiar with and it saved many a foreign life in china and that's called pleco pleco is basically an online dictionary you can go in, you can type in a word in English and then it brings up all the words in Chinese for that. And it's so, so useful. You can see the characters, you can see it in sentences, you can see how the characters built, you can see other similar words with that character in. It is a lifesaver basically. And it's a brilliant, brilliant way to learn Chinese on your phone. It's not just a dictionary, you can also uh, pay for add-ons. So the, the actual app itself is free, but the add-ons allow you to build flashcards. You can have traditional Mandarin on there as well, I think. Um, there's all kinds of different add-ons that you can purchase. It's a really, really great resource and we highly recommend you use it. We actually also have a blog, uh, a two-part blog actually, on a Pleco review, uh, which again, all down there, as I told you, just so much great content from LTR. Okay, resource number two, actually two for the price of one here because they both revolve around your reading. These are ones I love actually because they're fantastic for short stories. I don't read Chinese books, I'll be honest, I probably should do. I just find them too long and there's too much to take in and you, I need to be absorbed in it for a few hours. But the great thing about these two resources are they have short stories and they're super quick, snappy and easy. You can have all the levels you want, they're really good. And they are called Do Chinese, that's number one. And The Chairman's Bao is number two. They basically do the same thing in that they provide you with short articles which are between one and six pages long on a phone. And it's basically anything from beginner to advanced and they cover all kinds of topics. Personally, I do prefer Do Chinese, but they both do what they say on the tin. They're really very good. We've got reviews again for both of those apps down below, Do Chinese and The Chairman's Bow. So take a look, see which one you prefer, which one you like the most, and I'm sure you will find them really useful for improving your Chinese reading skills. Okie dokie, resource number three is one that we've already mentioned, but we're gonna mention it again, and it's HSK Online. Honestly, a fantastic resource. 
I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I talked about it in a video up here which lasts about 15 minutes. That's a long time to talk about an app by the way, so honestly I really do like it. Uh, check out the video and that will basically tell you what the HSK online app is and why you should download it to help you with your Chinese, even if you're not taking the HSK exam, super useful. That's resource number three. Resource number four for the best way to learn Mandarin online is for your written Chinese and this is an app called Scritter. Now Scritter is one of those apps that basically is just revolved around written Chinese. So you have characters on your screen and you can actually write them. They're really, really useful for improving your stroke order. It's very easy to actually start picking up your reading skills in Chinese and start being able to read basic sentences, but actually writing is a whole different ball game. It's a skill that not many foreigners know how to do actually because you don't really need to do it. In this day and age, you have your phone, you can type Chinese characters and all is fine. But it's absolutely brilliant to be able to have the skill to write a Chinese character and understand the way to build it. They're not just random squiggles on a page. There's an art around it from stroke order and everything. You should learn it as you're starting from the beginner phase because it's a really, really good thing to know. And Scritter is a great way to help your written Chinese. And finally, number five, it wouldn't be a review without an LTL plug, of course ltl-online-school.com, there should be a link somewhere on the screen right about now, is a great resource for Chinese. Why? Because we are the best Mandarin school. We are ranked the number one Mandarin school in China in 2019, and we've expanded our skill set now to online classes. We even provide free classes. There is no catch to that, by the way no catch at all, you don't need to pay for anything, you don't need to give card details, you don't need to sign up in the long run. You can come in, you can enjoy free classes from level A0, I believe, to B1, and we provide classes completely free of charge, and then you can go on and, if you want, after a number of free classes, purchase more, but the free classes are there for anyone to use, so utilize them. We also have one-on-one, -on -one, online, and you speak to us, our director of studies and your teacher, and we figure out a study plan for you. This means that you can learn what you want. So if it's business Chinese, if it's spoken Chinese, if it's casual day-to-day -day Chinese, if you even want to talk about a movie you saw in Chinese, a football match you watched, and you want to talk about in Chinese, you can do whatever you want with our teachers because we teach anything. This is going back to about making Mandarin fun to learn. It's not all about textbooks and formalities. You want to learn about the stuff you want to talk about. We also have an online semester programme, which is 18 weeks worth of Chinese intensive study. I believe it's four hours a day for 18 weeks. So if you have some time, then take up this semester class. It's 60% cheaper than our, on, uh, than our actual semester programmes which you take when you come to China, 60% cheaper. It's a huge discount and the quality, the teaching, everything is exactly the same. The only difference is you're on a screen with your teacher rather than in person. It's a huge discount and a great programme. Most of our students at the start of a semester, if they're HSK nothing, if they don't know any Chinese, they get to HSK three, no problem at all. If you don't believe me, YouTube plug channel, challenge yourself. Two of our students came to China, Tobias and Mikkel from Denmark. They stayed in China for three months. See how they progress from knowing no Chinese to very good levels of Chinese in that time. It does happen, it can work. Some of our students even get further to HSK4 if they're super intensive. That depends on the individual. But our online classes are a brilliant way to learn Chinese. We think the best way to learn Chinese online we hope you agree with us too. We've had some great reviews. Check out our Facebook. We've got reviews on there. We have a TripAdvisor page, a Trustpilot page. There's reviews on our website, Google reviews. There's lots of cool stuff that people have said about us online and they say it because it really is true. We're not just saying these things to sell to you. We're saying it because we are the best school to learn Chinese. So we hope that we will see you in some of our online classes soon. I hope that this list of resources and tips was useful. That is the best way to learn Mandarin online. 
We're always here to help, so please do comment below. I haven't even told you to subscribe to our channel yet. Please do that as well. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll be back soon. Take care. Bye-bye.